Roger, get out of here. Okay, Holly, I just want to talk. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Now get out of Look. here. Please stay away from me. Roger's here. Roger? Where? He's upstairs with Holly. She all right? Well, he's only been here a minute, and I don't think he dared to... But... Look, whatever you may think, I care very much for you and Chrissy. You are my family. Will you please come home with me? Roger, I said no. We can work it out. Damn it, why won't you listen to me? Roger, what are you, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm talking to my wife. Are you okay? Yeah. What is this? I, I said, I'm talking to my wife. I want to take her home with me. Do you want to go home with it? No! Will you stay out of this? Look, I've never seen so many people in my life make so much out of so little. She's not going any place with you, Roger. Look, I'm not harassing my wife. I'm just trying to talk to her, that's all. Look, will you please just go downstairs and I'll finish getting dressed. Okay, come on. Let's... The hell I will! Roger, aren't you going to leave? I'm waiting for my wife. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. You know, it's your son, Ed, who's behind all this, don't you? What do you mean? He's still in love with my wife. But I don't believe that for one minute. Well, it doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. It happens to be true. Roger, He's the cause of the trouble. I'm not going to forget that. I told you before, this is my house. You're not welcome in it. So will you when please I'm ready. go? When I'm ready. I found it. Thanks for coming. All right, dear. Bye-bye. You. You're not following her. Thanks a lot. Where? Where is she? Holly. Christina Holly, here? what is going on? Christina? She's not here. Where is she? Oh, and look, I, I want to know what you were doing over at the police station. Tell me where she is. Please, listen to me. You told me if I came here, you'd tell me where she is. I told you I would after you answer my question. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell at you. Please. I just want to know what you were doing at the police station and what Mike Bauer is trying to put you... Roger, if you don't tell me where she is, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just tell me nothing has happened to her. Of course nothing's happened to her. What's going to happen to her? She's at nursery school, okay? Nursery school? Where did you think she was? God, I thought, I don't know what I thought. You thought what? What kind of monster do you think I am? You think I'm going to hurt Chrissy, our own child? What is the matter with you? What, are you afraid of me? Yes. Oh, Holly. Holly. You raped me. Wait a minute! Did you tell the police that? Did you sign some sort of complaint against me? Yes. My God, you did that?! After what you did to me. Holly, what does this mean now to me? What are they going to, what is this going to mean to me? They are going to arrest you. They are going to arrest me? When, when, where? They're outside. My God, they're outside. The cops are out there and they're going to arrest me now? Yes, they're waiting for me. Mike and the police. I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, look, honey, listen to me, please. You have got to go out there, and you've got to tell them. This is just, we're husband and wife. We're having a terrible fight. Tell them you made a mistake, please. You can do that, please. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Now, look. Look, you don't realize what this is going to mean to me if you go through with this, please. Doctor, let me leave. Will you wait? Wait a minute. Listen to me. This is going to ruin me over at Spalding. This is going to ruin my... Okay, skip Spalding. How about Chrissy? What's it going to do to her? It's Chrissy I'm thinking about. Holly, please, I'm begging you. Roger, I'm not going on like this. Not after what you've done to me. After what you did to me. Nobody can do that to somebody else and get away with it. Don't you see? Okay, I do, I do. I understand that, and I think that, that you're right, and I think we can just get a divorce then. Yeah, that too. Now, wait a minute. You are making me out to be a criminal. I am no criminal. Roger, I've got nothing more to say to you. Wait a minute! Let go. Holly. Holly! Mr. Thorpe. Yeah. Lieutenant Ruiz, Springfield Police. You're under arrest. Tell him you're dropping the charges. No, I won't. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. Yes, Holly. Yes, you know Poor the... Roger. Oh, Roger. Poor <laughs> Roger. You know, you see, he no. tried to make amends. He tried to... Oh, get Holly's out favorite. of here. But, you know, this was very brave of Holly because she had no role models for this kind of thing. Uh, no one, this is the first time they dealt with marital rape on the soaps. Anywhere, and and, and th this was not part of the, 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 the media buzz of fighting against, standing up against rape and all this. So she really had to, you know, pull herself up by her bootstraps and fight back, and she did it. Yes, Poor little, did. she'd never been out of Springfield, would she know? Yes, Holly, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Just all those extremes. I think we just always 
were in one extreme, or you know, this love and this hate, and uh, so there was a whole spectrum of emotion that we were always playing. You know, I, I think, in a in a sense, that uh, at least speaking from Roger, that that Holly was that part of himself. He recognized that it was in there somewhere that he was had spent his lifetime burying. That you were my heart. Yeah, and Holly has always known that you are her mate. That's what's kept her in Springfield all this time. In the course of the trial, when it looked like Roger was going to get away with a rape, he was being masterfully defended by Ross at the time. Uh, a true snake. Uh, yes. <laughs> My mother has still not was. forgiven him, you know. Really? <laughs> really. And uh, she was afraid that Roger was going to take Christina away from her. That, that, was, a, those were, that was a true threat. Again, uh, Holly was forced to take desperate measures. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Still in, huh? Still protecting Ed? You're in love with him, aren't you? You love him, don't you? You love him! Don't you ever look at me that way! You love him! You love him! You love him! You love him! Argument. Yeah, I like the way I kept my eye open like that. <laughs> but did I deserve to be shot down in cold blood like that? I ask the viewers. Violence begets violence. But Holly was not in her right mind, you notice. She was flashing back to the rape. That's right. This is a brutalized young innocent. That's right. But three bullets <laughs> were not enough to stop Roger. He enlisted the help of Alan Spaulding to fake his death certificate and get him out of the country. Meanwhile, Holly went to jail. Poor Holly. Women behind bar scenes, though, and it was the longest that any character, a female character, had been in jail at the time. I must throw that in. <laughs> I didn't it was know fun. That. <laughs> now, Ed and his new wife, Rita, got custody of Chrissy, and Roger's obsession to be with his daughter intensified. 